Hey, man. I will be streaming much more. Ah, oh, thanks a lot. You're so kind. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. This is for socket treasure. It's actually not bad for like I mean it's not ethereal but still. It's actually good for insight and I think someone on my stream was looking for a uh, for open socket treasure. I don't know if they found it or not, but I'm gonna drop it to the ground. The game name is Chaos 2 with a minus in between. And this is on Europe server. So if anyone wants a poor open socket treasure, it's there on the ground waiting for you. You can join these games by the way, they have no password, so if you wanna 
If you want to farm with me, you're welcome to join. I'm actually gonna kill Neil Hatak to see what's up with him. Check that valves later. Gotta identify some items actually. Uh, let's check this jewel first. Okay. That's actually not bad. So yeah, when he has stone skin you cast Amplify Curse and basically just bone spear him since it's magic damage. Which helps a lot against these. So people have been asking like why am I playing bone spear? Uh, because it helps a lot. 
versus those types of monsters. Besides, it helps getting the first first kill and then apply corpse explosion, you know, extra damage. For MF builds, I strongly recommend. Okay, this is another inside base. If anyone wants, it's also an inside base. Chaos Tree, that's the game name on Europe. Lucky with four open socket inside bases. These are the keys I farmed over like a couple of days on. And I already have like, I don't know, enough for like 3 4 Ubers or something. Yeah. Imagine being in hell and Deckard Kane telling you like, good day. Uh, Christopher, you can join with your Pala, like if you have a Pala, or if you can join with whatever. The test run will be probably later tonight, where I will start like from scratch with a, like a like a level one character. Right now, I'm trying to like hit level 95 or at least get close to it. Any summon necro advice for ladder coming out before ladder start? Yes. Play a hybrid build. Um, I will play my hybrid build. And when you first start the game on normal difficulty, do not go full summon. Play Teeth instead. Try to get Bone Spear as fast as you can. And make sure to use Iron Maiden to cheese out all the bosses on normal difficulty. That's one shot. If you Iron Maiden with a strong Clay Golem, Duriel kills himself, Bale kills himself, Andariel and ba like all Act bosses like anything that's actually difficult kills itself on normal difficulty if you use Iron Maiden. So on normal difficulty, take Iron Maiden 100%. And play Teeth Build instead. Do not play Summon until you hit level 40. Once you hit level 40, you're gonna respect your Summon. That's when your skeletons become durable and hard hitting. So that's important. What time is it there now? Uh, it's like 9 p.m. 10 p.m. in my country, but 9 p.m. in Europe. Those Urdars are actually very dense. That's actually a good spawn for uh, Ubers, if anyone would want to do Ubers. They can join this game and do their Ubers with those Urdars, just saying. By the way, on the top right of the screen, doesn't matter if you're an American player or European player, I'm recruiting people for my ladder pre-made. 
So we have like four people right now. So we have four open slots if anyone wants to join. Uh, Christopher is one of them, by the way. I mean, if you want to go slow, yeah, someone gets the job done. But like, if you want to rush, which is going to be our case for ladder, we're going to rush. So I can't play just go full summon at the start. I need to play feet. Summon is also not good for Maggot Lair. You need to remember that as well. In Maggot Lair, your summons will not do anything because one of your skeletons will probably block the entire passage. Which means you're gonna wait for eternity for one skeleton to kill all the bugs. And that's gonna ruin your experience. So that's why I'm strongly recommending playing a hybrid build, 100%. At least have like a decent bone spear so you can like carve your way out of there, you know? Or maybe play a teleport staff, which is harder to find because you have to spam the spam the vendor to actually get one. And that's a time loss, so you know. You gotta think ahead. This is not bad actually. Yeah, that's why I'm actually recommending that you play like Teeth Bone Spear. At least on normal and uh, some part of Nightmare. I'm gonna play full hybrid by the way, even in health, so I'm never gonna go full summon in health. Either. I will go full summon probably for Ubers, and that's it. What are those rings today? Okay, let's see. Of course, we're gonna get one jaw, one burr. Just wait and see. We seal popped, it's gonna be one jaw, one burr right away. And then we wake up, of course. But I actually need a Enigma for my summon druid that I'm gonna low key prepare. Okay, this is actually good for that. Ah, three sockets. Never mind. Christopher is probably offline.
what is that lag actually? These rings are actually starting to get creepy, I swear. It's again. I can't carry anymore. A giant treasure. Ah. Uh. We got Dracul's grasp. Like that, just like that. Just like that. I mean, these are super, super useful, as most of you know. I mean, check this out. Pretty bad boy. Pretty easy, I must say. Uh, Christopher, your VT Paladin will probably need those if they were a ladder drop. Got this last night as well. And these are the keys I farmed in like two days. And this is gonna be my iron golem, by the way. Once I hit uh, 95 and respec, because I'm still running the budget necro build video guide, uh, like the budget necro video that I did so I had to respect for like a guide video so I have like 11 points in clay gold I usually go max iron gold with golem mastery but this build is gonna be also very very useful for ladder as well I'll share more details about it not exactly this build though not exactly this build so just so you know heads up I mean Christopher the good thing is on, like on ladder as we spoke on my discord like necro will not need any gear because corpse explosion does flat damage it's percentage of the most hp so any type of gear we find is gonna go towards you and the sorcerers in the pre-made as necro i will not take any of the gear at all i will just trade everything because like i do damage with corpse explosion and that's it by the way, if you have uh, VT Pala or anything, you can join like these games. It's gonna be Chaos 6 now. So we can farm together if you want. By the way, this is uh, these games are open for anyone who'd like to join. These are on Europe server. So let me repeat myself. So. All you gotta do is just join game and then you're just gonna type chaos slash, I mean not slash, minus six or under letter or whatever it's called. No password and then you just join on Europe servers though, okay? That's important. So chaos six, hell difficulty of course. Let's see if we get a key. I mean, those Drax gloves are super, super, super welcome.
There might be some trouble on ladder servers as well. I mean, they tested it, it was uh, consistent, but that's PTR. And only like a couple of people play PTR, so you never know. Once people start rushing. For example, for Anilo or something, <laughs> if uh, D clone is about to go up, like servers actually go down. People just start crashing servers. You can join as. Uh, you need to have Act 4 unlocked, I think. I mean, I can probably rush you. Okay, so let me check Eldritch and Shank real quick. What the hell is that sound? What's the sound? What actually I did this one? Look at this message, unable to ignore. Oh, 
we're gonna get a key of destruction right now. It's gonna happen right now. I guess we farmed them too hard. By the way, Christopher, why don't you bring a character over to these games? Like Chaos 7. That's the current game. Okay, we got one third of the Enigma. <laughs> oh, would have been nice. Another Viper Magi. Well, more caster armors for the giveaway. Let's ID it. Not bad, not bad. One out of three, yeah. One third of Enigma. Do not underestimate the Ithrun, you know? The 
Did I? No, I didn't kill Eldritch and Shanky. Or did I? That hurts to read. Okay, it's this way. A lot of people actually make that mistake, by the way. Okay, it's uh, it's at northwest, I think. This new area, level 85. Okay. Should be around here if I'm not mistaken. G, welcome to the stream. Oh well. I wanted to farm it, but okay, I got. It. I got the layout wrong. So, you know, with patch 2.4, all these areas are like max level areas now that you can farm. So, you know, they have good drops, supposedly. So 
actually funny to see like Act 1 monsters on Act 5. It's actually funny. Baldrogs are good. Then we're gonna take the super chests. It should be over here. And it's locked. My god, this is annoying. And all that for that. Come on, come on. Okay. In case you guys don't know what that is, let me show you. That's Tarnhelm. It's actually not bad. Imagine for level 15, you get plus one to all skills, extra gold and MF. Imagine if you would get this on ladder. Only like 15 levels required. This is insane for ladder. Okay, so we kind of lost track of Lord Desais. And we need to make sure that we kill them. Oh well. We need to kill him because of the seal pop. By the way. Otherwise seal pop would not work. Yo. Okay, that's a skiller. 
Mark my words. And this is plus 5 to all resist. Mark my words. Oh! Okay. Imagine plus one to summon with FHR. Check this real quick as well. This is actually not bad. This is not bad. I'll take it. One dex, seven lightning grass. That's fine. That's completely fine. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Imagine dropping only one scroll of town portal. And we had like really dense packs here, I don't know. Holy moly. Okay, Diablo, you're gonna give us a good loot now. You're gonna be a good boy. I forgive you. People remember you can join these games, they're on Europe. So game name is Chaos 9 on Hell Difficulty. All you gotta do is just join the game and you're completely fine. Ah. CR is nice, but oh well, this could have been a wonderful ring. This could have been a wonderful ring. It had such a nice potential. I'm actually sad. Could easily replace the wrist projector.
I want a loot filter for this game. This game really needs a loot filter. Diablo, I know you're scared, but I need to kill you for loot and XP, I'm sorry. Alright, I know you're scared, I know you want to run away, but that's not going to happen, bro. That's cool. Christopher, do you have a character that you wanna join those games? Like, you can bring whatever. Maybe he can't hear me. Ah, okay. Did you guys see that fud? I was gonna say the effort that weird uh, stance these mobs have. They were actually like waiting like a scarecrow. Did you guys see that? That was like a split second, but that was actually weird.
what are you going to play on ladder? I'm thinking about going summon Necro to start. I'm gonna play a summon bone hybrid Necromancer for ladder. Twenty life plus five all rest. <laughs> ah, we got people joining the games now, so these are going to be more entertaining runs now. telling you every time it's like nine or ten games and then the servers start listing my games and then people just fill in the whole game so if you ever want to go like players eight games you gotta consistently create games until like nine or ten games so the server starts picking up your game lists it and then people can join Oh, they're stealing my game now. Okay. You know what I think about that message? Like, um, this Rippy guy and Dalinar, like, you know what I honestly think? When he said who opens, I think he mentioned or she mentioned whatever their gender name is. I think they're like bots or they're using bots to create chaos games. And um, they were quite surprised to find that I have already created Chaos 10 myself, you know? So my game was Chaos 10. They were probably coming as like Chaos 9, 8. They were coming behind. So they catched up to Chaos 10, since I do Nihil Attack as well, and other runs. And then they were like, 
who opened this game? Skulm, stop trolling, stop popping the seals, etc. Blah blah. Because uh, their bot carriers were not uh, in the game, probably. That's what I'm thinking right now. So, right after this, right after the tenth game, they've created game number eleven. And now I'm on game number 12 and I'm gonna sit on it because they were extremely rude about it. And those are my detective skills, in case you're wondering. So imagine a bot cremate joins your game and accuses you of trolling <laughs> because you're popping your own seals and minding your business. <laughs> oh well, what can you say to those people? Okay, this lag is scaring me. All right. I mean, I've been creating these games for like an hour or something and then they just jump into my game and tell me you're trolling leave this game <laughs> what can I tell you see they're coming again <laughs> because they're done with the previous game <laughs> look at them all the same people, they're busted. Look at these people, they're busted now. Look at them. They're gonna accuse me again. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is fun for Saturday night, I swear. Oh my god. These people are toxic. This is why people don't want to play on uh, Battle.net, you know? Most people, they prefer single player. Because unfortunately toxic players like this exist. But please, don't allow these players to ruin your game experience, guys. Woo! And who gets this, huh? Who steals it from them, huh, guys? Come on. Some poggers on chat, I want it right now. Come on! Who steals an item from a bot? And that's me. That's right. That's me. And that's what you get for being toxic. This is gonna go into my YouTube shorts for sure. Thank you, Jacob. This is the reflex I'm talking about. I'm gonna give this away to someone who needs it. I'll keep it here for now, but this is gonna go. Let me ID it for you guys as well. Please, Necromancer, don't piss me off right now. Yes, you can. Defense is not perfect, but still, it's an awesome, it's an awesome shield for Necromancer. And that's what you get for being toxic. I'm telling you, 
Now, this is an open war. So we're gonna go, they probably are running Chaos 13. So we're gonna go Chaos 14. We're in war right now, chat. We're in war. I'm gonna take my time and chill. I'll do Neil attack before they join my game. This has been a nice Saturday entertainment so far. They're probably gonna join in like a minute or something, so we gotta move actually. The bot pre-made is coming in like one minute. I'm taking this grand charm. See, they're coming, I told you, in one minute, they're coming. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. They're leaving. They're jumping straight into new game now. But some of them obviously don't listen. Okay, okay. We see now. They're gonna start on 15 already, so we gotta be super, super, super fast with this game. One of them is AFK, see? Yeah, I think they're kind of giving up on harassing and then trying to just mind their own business now. But I'm not going to let this one go. You can't be toxic to people like that and get away with it, right? You can't. So, yeah. They're in trouble right now. And everything is caught on stream, so, you know. Just gonna do like a very, very fast seal pop here. Boom. We're gonna have a, like, we're gonna take a quick look. Will I do this? Kill Diablo now. Nothing. Then we go Chaos 16. One step ahead of them, you know? Got him! <laughs> I mean, that homunculus was awesome. Not gonna lie. And I'm gonna give this away to someone who needs it. That's what you get for using bots and stuff, yeah? Anyway, I can't go nil attack. I gotta start on my river. 
because they left the game early, so they have already on their main now, on their way now. You know what I would do in this case? I would either create a password. I mean, since you're playing with eight man premade, I mean eight player premade, why wouldn't you use a password anyway? I mean, you're already a fixed premade, and if you don't want your games to be disturbed, just create a password. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Look at this. Look at this right now. Oh, they're even faster now with new game. And I'm gonna be faster. No more seal popping now. Seal pops. Two of them are actually chilling. So I'm gonna. Yeah, they're actually chilling. Are these leechers? more seal pop for these people so we just go because they're already on chaos 17 and progressing so we finish this game and then we go chaos 18 okay nothing we go Chaos 18. And we got the game. They're probably finishing their game right now. Chaos 17, so. I mean, the solution is very simple. Just create like Chaos 20 or something without using any separation line. That's all you need to do, but you know, they rather harass people and just tell them like bad things, you know? I mean, here I am creating like my own games. Some people jump into my game and like, you're sabotaging our games, like what? Game wars have begun. See, they're joining. I mean, I know their timers exactly because they're botting. Like, this is so common. They're probably practicing for ladder. So, I think they skipped this game. I think they did not create Chaos 18. I think they went straight to straight to 19. Which means I'm going to just open this. No, they're actually joining. Okay. They're not that smart obviously. They are not that smart obviously. So what I would do instead is skip one game to avoid this conflict.
some of their people are actually starting to stay. Maybe I steal these people from their pre made huh? That's what you get for being toxic. I mean, I'm faster, so... I guess their paladin couldn't compete with a summon necro on Chaos Farms. That treasure, though. Okay, whatever. Okay, nothing important. So, they're probably already Chaos 19. Let's check. Oh, they have given up! They've given up! The toxic harassers have given up! We have everyone! We stole their pre-made, guys! The toxic harassers actually left! Thank you. I mean, you get what you deserve, right? I've just saved my mercenary from like 1 HP. No joke. You get what you deserve. You get what you deserve. So we have the Sorks uh, doing the north. Well, they're going all out on this one. I see what's going on. Everyone takes care of a wing. And then you meet, basically. Are these people low level? Yeah, one of them is. Yeah, one of them is waiting for ports, I even, so. Yeah, extra content for the stream is good, right? <laughs> Drama always attracts attention. <laughs> Drama always attracts attention. But I'm actually happy to show you um, how toxic some part of the community is and what you can do to combat against it, you know? You never give up. And you just gotta school them. You just gotta school them with your skills. They got schooled and they left. Okay. Now we go Chaos 20. Let's see if they have created that game. Nope. Yeah, you grind solo, but you know, teammates always get better loot and extra XP, so. I mean, I guess you can do it on single player as well, but I mean, you know, playing with good people is the reward of this, uh, like, battle net. But, you know, good people are rare, so you usually get toxic, uh, I can't use that word on the stream, but you know what I'm gonna say, so whatever. Toxic individuals, uh, let's call them. Did my Merc... Oh, my Merc died, actually. This is getting serious. Okay, this is getting serious now. Yeah, you're not... I see what you mean. Imagine this mob dying. Uh, 
Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We have the army of the dead. To solve our problems. And this is players five, four. So, yeah. I'm gonna check the small charm later. Actually, now. I am overburdened. So, yeah, players four. If I could, I would play Infinity here. So the Sorks, as well as my Corpse damage, would do more damage. But I'm gonna just keep using Insight because it's not worth it right now. There we go. Easy peasy. And we go Diablo. Did they manage to clear north? Yes, no, no, actually. They couldn't kill the says. What's up? That's why you need a summon, Necro. You see that? No, not me, Diablo. Doesn't Let's see what's up with North. They probably are uh, struggling for the say skill. So I'm just gonna help them out. Someone died. I mean. That's why, again, you need a summon necro to take care of disease on your early chaos runs. Even endgame chaos runs, necro is actually a nice way to deal with this pack. Because of the huge army that he can summon.
Okay. Probably something good will drop now. I'm gonna drop this. Also this and this. Nope. Let's go 22. Uh, maybe I should do more stream content like Battle.net drama, you know, steal games and compete like for loot and stuff like that. So maybe we get like more viewers because like, <laughs> I guess people like this kind of stuff where one player just schools an entire premate and then the premate disbands and the members of the premate joins to that one player now. <laughs> so they can join. So... Hopefully Stanley doesn't die again. Because I'm about to summon the Sace. Dead. Diablo, yep. And we're getting a lot of XP from these runs now. Because of the player count. So if you really want to like have like a secure spot or like at page one on rankings leaderboard for ladder you want a pre-made 100% you want to play with a pre-made because of the experience bonus Yes, they stopped as well.
Okay, since we have no one, we can easily do seal popping. Because it's player one only, so... Come on. We've just uh, increased our luck now for Chaos 24. Shaco will drop. Shaco. Or Bear Rune. Or Jar Rune. I'm joking, of course. It has nothing to do with anything, by the way. out of five AC okay yeah yeah five old rest 20 HP uh, 20 life small charm okay, nice this is nice I kept that So, the Seiyas is dead, or is he? I mean, when you know monsters don't have the fanaticism, alright, it means he's dead, so yeah.
Oh, you meant 5 FHR. Okay. Yeah, that would be wonderful as well. Let me seal pop real quick. Diablo is trolling us. He's trolling. What do you need? But maybe Nil Attack will uh, show some mercy and drop a key of destruction. So, you know, since we're not getting invaded by pre mates anymore. We caused them to disband actually. Oh well, they shouldn't be toxic in the first place. Okay, Nil Attack, I'll take that. This is gonna be a very nice giveaway for my people. I'll take it. I know we have some paladins in the chat. And guess what these boots do? These boots... They're not made for walking, let me tell you that. These are pretty good for paladins. And take a guess why. 25% 25, 25 crashing blow. That's no joke. Why is my Merc? Oh well. I'm gonna give this away as well. These goblin toe boots. I mean, I've just cleared my stash. I'm not kidding. I've just cleared it, like, for today's stream. I was like, okay, uh, I cleared it now, probably, so I will be fine, right? No. Why not? For some time, we needed to be lucky. These are all Bale charms, by the way. All of these charms are dropped from Bale, 100% confirmed. These as well. I'm keeping this one because this is pretty good. Uh, okay, let's try this. Let's try it. At least we created some space for Goblin Toe. Okay, jokes aside. Let's pick up the pace. Yeah. 
You know what? Let's let's make something funny. For the next game, where do you guys want that I farm? Name a place, cow level, somewhere, and I'll farm it. Write down a location and I'll farm it. No joke. Cow level, cow level to this. Next game, that's gonna be Moo Moo. You got it. I'll kill some cows for you. Some evil cows. That's it. Next game is cows. Why do I take so much poison damage? Like I have full resistance even. Yeah, Kavlov is always entertaining. You want to hear a funny story? So I used to play this game before Enigma was a thing and Patch 1.10 was a thing. So I was pretty old school. And back before you had Enigma and whatnot, Cow Level was the place to level actually. That would give you the most experience. So you'd farm cows day and night. And that's how I actually got my level 99. By farming cows all day, all night. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Resist fire is fine against Diablo. Nothing, nothing, nothing. At least we get experience from that seal pop, by the way. You get experience from all these monsters as if you're as if you kill them. So that's a huge bump in XP. Hey Diablo. Buy the up though. All right. Yeah. 
Chaos 26, but it's gonna be secret cow level farm, and nobody will know. Yeah, I did a lo lot of cab rounds back in the day. But that was the best place to level. And they've changed that. They nerfed the experience and then I was pretty much rip afterwards. Wait, why did I... Okay, Stonyfield is fine. Until someone killed the king? Well... Joke's on you! Because I was not playing on Bnet back in those days. With 56k modem. That was not possible. So I was playing offline. No one would be able to kill the cow king. Because I was doing single player cows. And the only way we would play together was TCP IP network on LAN tournaments. So we would duel each other. You know, those were the good days. Alright, Rakanishu. Didn't I CTA? Oh wait, these are like, okay, champions, okay, okay. Boom, boom, boom. That's a lot of damage! You seem to recall some 1.08 Valkyr wing. Yes! Okay, so the trick to have amazing drop from cow level and this is no joke. There's a specific trick that you need to do, okay? You need to open the portal exactly here, okay? Exactly here. Yes. Now this is guaranteed extreme drops. We're gonna be super lucky with drops now, guess why? I did that. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. 11 fire is a small charm. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. It's not bad, I swear. It's not bad. I told you, the cow portal always works. But wait, it's nothing. Wait and see until we get like a bird rune now. I feel it, it's around here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there we go. All right. Where's the king? What? Did they just... Chaos armor. Two sockets, though. What a shame. Come on, cows. We want some burr or ya, yeah. ja. My burr runes, like two of them, dropped from Act Three. Two of them drop from Act 5 from Eldritch and Shang area. The Act 3 ones, one of them dropped from Travancle and the other one dropped from the Council before Mephisto. And then the last one actually dropped from uh, like the Tristram. Yeah, Necro was coming, so the king was scared, you're right. This is a nice pull. I like this one. Boom, 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 boom. Fifteen IAS jewel maybe, and then we wake up. I've actually, on my stream, I've actually got some fifteen IAS jewels by the way. So you know, could be real. Your cows, we need some pools. People on the stream want big pools, so. We're actually getting some runes here. Like, this is the third rune. So, Burr is definitely coming. Next one is Burr. Big pulls on me. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go now. Boom, 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 boom. I love this. Imagine if I could actually get XP from cab level. As it used to be. I has 27 fire res, that's insane. That's actually really good. Minus 15 IS, 12 all res. Let's go. I really think they should remove skeletal mages, by the way. 
I want like skeletal archers or like a complete rework of skeletal mages. Okay, this is a nice pack. I mean, skeletal mages are like useless beyond belief right now. Fire golem as well. That's a champion. So right now everyone thinks Cavalry is over and we're not getting a burr. But you know. I'm just gonna show you my frenzy barb on uh, on Travinkle after this one. Oh well. I think that's that. It's so we did like 25, 26 chaos games today. So if like, I'm definitely not going to do any more Chaos runs. 11 FCR FC at least. Not I mean, it's not bad for sure. It's not bad. You know, because of our uh, portal location, as we said earlier. <laughs> But check this dude out. Check out this dude. He's a boss. And that's it. That's your Travenko right there. He's a monster. He's a monster, like for real. I'm actually thinking of like getting a Trove Barb or Frenzy Barb in the pre-made for ladder run. Like, that would be awesome. And that's it. I can't carry anymore. Did we get anything worthy? No. But you know, you can do your usual thing, like find item and whatnot. And just chill. Like this guy is immortal. Yeah, of course. Frenzy and Troll Barb are super viable for ladder as well. I mean, look at this dude, you don't need teleport with this guy. At all. <laughs> you're constantly teleporting with this dude. <laughs> and you're immortal again. I mean, look at my life. And, like... The gear is actually IK, most of it. I mean, of course, Chains of Honor is OP, but... 
I mean lightsaber, definitely budget, definitely budget. IK belt, Drax, okay, Drax are good. Grief, yeah, of course, low room, that's not budget, maybe that's budget, but you know, at the beginning of ladder, this is definitely not budget. Everything else is like max AR, like AR, max damage, and life. And I have an awesome torch, which I also farm myself. But there is no any, for example, on this dude. No any. I mean, imagine the damage that he could pull off with like awesome gear. And this is only, like, this is only with like one grief. Like his offhand is lightsaber. So, you know, that could be awesome. Helm could be awesome. This is my trick because, you know, the faster you swing, the more chance to proc amplify damage. Yeah, follow the chaos run with Alibaba. <laughs> I mean, I have another project that's coming up as well. Either he's gonna be the summon druid for backup, or we're gonna make him. A dedicated fury druid. So let me slap on those raccoons. Yeah, he's a work in progress. But you know, since they've changed the IAS, I'm no longer using. I'm no longer going to use a rip cracker with child room because we can get IAS from other sources now. You know what? I'm actually gonna try something. Okay, let me grab... Let me grab these gloves real quick. And on my giveaways, I'm telling you, there are plenty of giveaways coming. I mean, it's because, you know, I have a lot of these items sitting on my, like, stash. So, Holy Bolt, IAS, yeah, laying offense probably. Or Magnus. 20 IAS, 100 attack rating. And that's from G-Face, actually, so... But, you know, let's go with the... L-O-H. Let me show you a Chaos Run with this dude. There we go. Okay, I mean... This can definitely be better. Yeah, I remember my setup. You one shot everything basically with this dude. It's not even a joke, like look at this. Look at this massacre. And he can also dominate Ubers as well, because he has extreme crushing blow. I mean look at this damage.
Urdars, no problem. They melt. Bosses, no problem. They melt. Okay, stone skin. Look at the stone skin. Dead. Guess why? Guess why we killed them so fast? It's because of this. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, of course, he's not as fast as my Necro, but... I don't know. I like this guy. Not to mention the insane lifesteal. We got some mana issues, but we can definitely solve it. I have some ideas for that. Holy moly, imagine if this would have been a unique wand. All the poison necromancers would lose their mind because that would be D-Web. This would be Death's Web, but it's not on Forge. Corpse Explosion is pretty good until players 5. Kinda loses some value after that. But it's still good in players 8 as well, you're right, so... It just loses a bit value after players 5. Just a bit. What happened to my army? I mean, these are one-point wonders, by the way. I have not invested in these guys, so, you know. Hold your judgment. Only one-point wonders. You need mana. Okay, there you go. There's your mana. That was actually... Turning me off a little bit. These mana burns on melee. And the fact that you'll actually have to wait for this uh, to make its way onto you. That's also bad. But other than that, I, I really like the damage. I really like it. I mean, look at this. Stone skin? No problem. No problem at all. And the reason I'm doing chaos is because this is one of the places which can actually destroy your mana. Like... This is really tough for a Fury Druid because you get a lot of mana burns. And still, he can pull it off quite easily. Maybe instead of having some summon druid army, I would go more elemental. So I'm testing that as well. But hey, that's a work on progress. I don't like those uh, spirits though, they die too quick. So this is the hardest part. And look, with the army, I can like divert the aggro on other stuff and just kill them. So that's what I was thinking. That's why I've actually invested some points in the army.
And the reason I'm using laying of hands is because you have a 10% chance to cast level 3 Holy Bolt on striking, which also heals your pets and mercenary and damages monster. Like extra AoE is also nice. See that Holy Bolt? That's from the gloves. It's better than nothing. I would probably take Dracul's Grasp because of the life tap and my minions can actually heal better. But I need to find other IAS items. And I was just checking stuff, so probably gonna run Drax anyway. Because I really don't notice that much difference on IAS because it's not on the breakpoint. So, Heart of the Wolverine. Four points. Three points on Dire Wolves, three points on Spirit Wolves, one point in Raven, three points on Summon Grizzly. Everything's maxed. Not Rabies, of course. So, and I'm only level 85, so I have a lot of points that I could allocate, you know? So, this. Fury build, it's super, super, super useful because it can run a sort of hybrid and you don't have to sacrifice anything. So you could actually run a hybrid summoner fury or elemental fury. Yeah, grats. I don't know why I left this... Uh Seal, by the way. Old habits never die, I guess. I mean, I don't have Enigma with this character, so... We have to ID this. Goodbye, Diablo. Or... Oh, yeah. Let's ID this real quick. Okay. I mean, we have some luck with the small charms today, somehow. This is also nice. This is also nice. You know, the game is telling us to... I've tried Windhammer as well, by the way. I'm definitely gonna go Ripcracker. Especially if it's Ethereal. You just upgrade it. To stalagmite and look at its damage. I've shown you how beautiful it is. So, and if I go with Drax with Life Tap, that's gonna feed all my summons. Yeah, this is a work in progress, as I said. So this project is not finalized. Let's see if we can get one Q of eight. Thanks, Nir.
I mean, of course, what was I thinking? Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. I can't. I remember, actually. I have these keys still. Oh my god, what's up with this FHR? What's up with this FHR? FHR day today, I guess. I'll do one more, maybe I get another key. I mean, she has two keys sitting in Horadric Cube because I have no no slots in on my in my stash. Like that's how much how many keys I farmed in a couple of days. Time for some torch hunting then. Yeah, I'll do Ubers. I just need to hit my Necro to level 95. Then I'll do Ubers with him, for sure. My Pala is also waiting for Ubers. I'll definitely do Ubers before ladder. Because once ladder hits, I'm just gonna dedicate uh, all my time into ladder. Good afternoon. If I'm not mistaken, this is Talrasha Helm, right? Should be. You took one week vacation for ladder now? Do you have a pre-mate that, that you're gonna be playing with? gonna give this away Yeah, you mentioned about your laptop, I think, on chat. Well, if you somehow find a decent computer to play on or something, you can join our pre-made if you want. But we're gonna go pretty hardcore, so, you know. Yeah, if it's lagging in single player. Good luck with that.
This is not that much. I'll do bail runs next. Because I have decided bail runs get more people in. But they're a bit more dangerous. Right, we have these. Hopefully you'll fix it. Another one? What's going on? Nope. So when you see stone skin, amp damage and then start your bone spears. And that's how you kill. That was a rune that dropped, I saw it. That's a tail rune though. What do we have? What do we have? Nothing. Nothing. We need identity actually. 17 life, blah blah blah. What do we have? Nothing. Well, I'll take this. Diablo nothing. Hold on, I'll actually turn off one of the programs that's on the background so I can do some uh, bail runs. I'm gonna turn off my NVIDIA that's causing some FPS drops. Okay, let's try bail games now.
I'll do like oh someone already joined. Someone already joined our bail games, okay. I don't like this lag though. I really don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it actually. I'll do one probably. Yeah, no way. No way I'm doing bail runs. No way. Not when streaming. I mean, if I get a sword that can tele and open portals, sure, but I'm not, I'm not gonna tele ball. No way. Either it's bug or it's because I'm streaming, so one of the other. Bro, let me CTA. Your CTA is... My CTA is better. Let's say it like that. We have summon Druid now. Like, this is the army that we're gonna master. Everything's gonna melt and... Nobody has to do anything, actually. Two jewels actually, one, two, because people were sleeping on them. And we eat it. Because this game also doesn't have loot filter. If something valuable drops, we have no, no slots. So we're gonna have to wait until they leave the game. If we grab something. Anyway, everyone, I have to go, but thanks a lot for watching my stream. I'll do more streams, and of course, I will be streaming the whole run on ladder. So I will be doing a lot more streams. So stay tuned, and thank you so much for watching. Have a nice weekend. I'll probably stream tomorrow as well. Take care. GG's.